Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today, we'll be take a look at the 2006 NYPD Dodge Charger in 143rd scale from the TV series Castle. Now, Greenlight Collectibles did an outstanding job on this release that we'll take a look at here in just a second. If you're wanting to add this car to your collection, it'll be linked in the video description below. I picked mine up for my friends over at diecastmodelwholesale.com. Alright, before we get to the model itself, let's take a look at the packaging. On the front here, we do have Castle, 2006 Dodge Charger. Got an image of Richard Castle and Detective Kate Beckett on the front there. Greenlight Hollywood down here. Of course, age is 14 and up. 143rd scale limited edition. Castle in the background artwork behind the car itself. On the top here, we have Castle, Greenlight Hollywood, adult collectible, and all your age restrictions and everything again. Ends of the box here features Castle and more Greenlight branding. Back of the packaging here features 2006 Dodge Charger Castle Greenlight Hollywood and Richard Castle and Kate Beckett once again. Bottom of the box features all your relevant legal information. All right, let's go ahead and get the car out of the box. I'll take a closer look at the detail because this is by far one of the best Greenlight models I've seen in this scale. Maybe even any scale barring 118th or something like that, but it does come in a acrylic cover on a base. On the base here we do have 2006 Dodge Charger. The model itself is already, I'm going to tell you, a 9.5 out of 10, maybe even a perfect 10. But we'll start here. We do have insert details for your headlights. You got the push bar. Separate insert detail there for your grill. Got police and the Dodge emblem on the nose there. Does have a opening hood. There you go. Featuring a detailed engine that says Hemi and everything so the detail there under the hood is amazing on the fender here we have police and working steering there you go which I was I knew about the opening hood and the other details but I was not aware of the working steering so that's a bonus that I didn't know about of course there's your NYPD patch on the fender with NYPD on the door got Courtesy, professionalism, and respect on the rear door there. Of course, got Precinct 12 and the unit's uh, shop number right there. Got the blue and red light bar on the roof. Back here on the deck lid, we have the unit number once again. Insert the details for your tail light. Of course, police. Got the third back uh, brake light there. Keyhole and charger on the tailgate or the rear trunk. And license plate. Of course, the trunk also opens up. There's nothing going on in there though, so no surprise there. We do have details for your mirrors on both sides. You can see this silver sticker they used. Once again, you can see the wheels turned to the right there. Now it does have opening doors. Let's see if I can get the hook in there and get them open. There you, there we go. The doors are very tight, but we got detailed interior. It's basically all black molded plastic but the details are there get the right side door open the right side door is the one that won't open the easiest both doors are very tight well we're not even going to try to get the right door open but there's the interior once again so yeah this this car here is a like I said a 9.5 Maybe even a solid 10 on details. I was not expecting the working steering. So yeah, if you're wanting to add this awesome car, even if you're not a fan of the TV show, but and why wouldn't you be? It's a great show that was on. That this would be an awesome release just to add to your NYPD collection. I mean, outstanding details. Nothing to complain about. Maybe just, you know, the tight fit of the doors, but that's a plus in my opinion so yeah that's my review of the castle tv series 2006 in my pd dodge charger in 143rd scale by green light collectibles if you once again want to add this car to your collection got it from diecastmonholesale.com i'll link it in the video description below be sure to give this review a thumbs up subscribe for more I post new diecast reviews throughout the week so be sure to click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on future videos you can find me over on twitter at jason a strain 69 see you next time for an all-new Diecast Review. Bye.